critically injured so that he's going to require medical attention for the rest of his life, and he's a fairly young man. He's not going to work anymore. He's going to require a doctor's attention from time to time, maybe even regularly. And we're talking about, oh, I don't know, $5 million in damages. Okay? He has a legitimate claim for $5 million in, in damages. Let's say that the guy in the orange vest was supposed to guide him as to where he was supposed to put that boat and didn't do anything until after the boat had tipped over, at which time he put his hands up saying, Touchdown? Stop. <laughs> Either touchdown or stop. One or the other. Either way. All right. So how would you assign, uh, in, in, a, in a comparative liability state, how would you assign uh, relative damages and, and liability? Well, personally, I would have to put a lot of the... the the fault on the driver of a boat. Uh, there's, there's no reason to be driving a boat that quickly into the shore and running into the shore. I don't care if you're relying upon someone uh, to tell you to turn, to veer, to stop. You're in a boat. You know boats can't go on land. So I, I would put a high amount of... Not that one. <laughs> well, no, certainly not that one. I, I put a lot, a lot of comparative fault with him. I would say it would be hard to be anything less than 95%. 95%... On the boat driver. On the driver. And that's assuming that the guy in the orange vest was supposed to be even directing him. So I well, just, yeah, that's the assumption. Yeah. yeah. And that's, uh, that's about as much as I would put there and possibly even higher. I okay. Think. What about you? Um, it, it depends. If the, if, the guy, if the boat driver was supposed to be following directions from the guy in the orange vest, and I'm thinking that that's why he was standing there, I would assign, I would assign uh, uh, percentage res responsibility a little bit differently. I'd probably give the uh, boat driver closer to uh, 60 percent and, um, and the guy standing there uh, 40 percent, which means that at, at $5 million, at $5 million um, what's 60 percent of $5 million? Because million. That's, that's what he's not going to get. Right. He's not going to get the three million dollars. That's his. That's his responsibility. But he is going to still get two million dollars. Right. That's in, in, in your mind. That's fair. I'm a little bit harder, I guess, on people as we've yeah, established. Yeah. You took, you took <laughs> away all the guy's money and left him on. He's, now he's going to collect welfare. I don't know about that. Did, do you want to see it again and see if there's another way to look at this? I can take a look at it again. Okay. We're going to roll it one more time. Now he's waving. I mean, come on. What's he doing? I think he's dancing. I don't think so. I think he's directing the guy into the shore. Now he's, he's moving one hand, and now he says, you're in. <laughs> when he puts his hands up like this, we'll wait till we get back on. Okay, Ryan, you have watched um, commercial airliners, or, yeah, commercial airliners, even private uh, airliners that have some direction from the ground crew. Sure, the guys and when they wave. put their hand like this, usually they have sticks in their hands. They have illuminated sticks in their hands. And they cross the sticks like that. You know what that means? That means stop. Okay? So when this guy does this, meaning stop, but the boat's already on, the, on, on sand and the, and the driver's already been dumped by the... I mean, doesn't, didn't that guy screw up somehow? I, I Do, doesn't he have some liability? I, I gave him at most 5%. The way I saw it, I don't think he was putting his hands up to stop. I think he was looking up to the Almighty to try to figure out why this, this guy is doing. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe he's wearing that orange vest to keep people from driving their boats <laughs> onto the sand, in which case he's doing a horrible job. A horrible, horrible job. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, turning to Bell. Yes. Uh, they're going through their preliminary hearing now, apparently. And um, the... Uh, Chief Randy Adams, who was, at the time of this conversation, uh, police chief in Glendale, he says as follows, and this is quoted uh, and now in part of the, part of the court record, I'm, I am looking forward to seeing you. He's talking to uh, an, assistant, um, an assistant manager, I think, or the yeah, ass assistant city manager. I'm looking forward to seeing you and taking all of Bell's money. He says this. He's, <laughs> He says this to the assistant city manager, I'm sorry, assistant city administrator, Angela Spaccia, um, in a 19-page memorandum filed by the prosecutors in court just, just this week. Um, and then he, then, but then he, he qualifies that. He says, okay, just a share of it. And then the response by the assistant city uh, administrator is, um, in a written response by email, LOL, 
You're young. What does that mean? That means laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. Well, you can take your share of the pie, just like us. Oh, boy. We all get fat. We will all get fat together. Bob, meaning the city administrator, city manager Bob Rizzo, um, has an expression he likes to use on occasion. It's very good. Pigs get fat. Hogs get slaughtered. So long as we're not hogs, all is well. That's in an email. And I suspect that, um, in retrospect, everybody thinks that the people involved were not pigs only, but that they were hogs. And now they are, um, they're being charged with uh, a variety of felonies. Right. Well, I think the presumption on that is that pigs don't use computers. And that's how you actually stay out of trouble. Ne but nor do they fly. Right. <laughs> they shouldn't write emails and, that and, say and, that. And, and ripping off the city for millions of dollars and sending the city the city taxpayers down into a tailspin as a result, that doesn't fly either. And I'm, I'm glad uh, the justice will be done. It will be interesting to watch as, as this continues to, uh, to unfold. And speaking of justice being undone, undone or done, either, either way, it doesn't way. matter. Tiger Woods is being fined. Oh, Did you hear about this? No, I haven't. But oh, really? Well, he was, he was in Dubai for the Desert okay. Classic. And on the 12th green, he committed a... Uh, a, D a Dubai Desert Classic rules infraction. You know what he did? Not at all. He spit. Ouch. In Dubai? In Dubai. Mm -hmm. He spit, and the uh, European tour, who was sponsoring the event, or, or putting on the event, uh, is going to fine him. Uh, it, it, it has not been disclosed how much he's being fined. But Tiger Woods is being defined for spitting on the green of the 12th hole. Well, that's still a maze for a better year than a couple of years ago. So. Well, you know, they gave him... Why? Well, I, he, because he wasn't fined a couple <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Worst things have happened. Worst things. He did get a three million dollar um, appearance fee. He finished, I think, twentieth in the tournament. He was doing fine until Sunday, and he fell apart. Or his score fell apart. Um, but he did get a three million dollar appearance fee just just for showing up. Good for him. Yeah, very good for him. I, I'd go. I, I'd go to Dubai and play golf if somebody gave me three three million dollars. And I, I promise you guys out there, if you're thinking about this seriously, I'll bring my own clubs. You don't have to bring clubs like, like all those guys. Uh, and uh, I promise I will not spit on the 12th green. And I'll promise Nor any of the other. Any other hole? <laughs> not, not any of the others. And I promise to fall apart every time I play, you know, on Sunday, Saturday, Friday. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I got, I got that moved down real well. Everybody, we've been having fun, but it's time to go. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Ralph Saltzman here. Ryan Kroll right there. We're the Legal Help Live team, and we've been answering your legal questions. And we will be talking to you in a couple of weeks right here on City TV Channel 16 in Santa Monica. If you're watching us in Los Angeles, you're watching Channel 16. I'm sorry, Channel 36. And you can do so again in a couple of weeks. We'll be looking forward to all of you. Uh, stay wet. Have a good time. And uh, see you in a couple of weeks. Take care.